All right. Wait. Wait a minute. Just a minute. You're being recorded. You're being recorded. Little technical communication here. All right, now, are we on? Yeah, we're recording because we're live streaming. Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to our monthly meeting. Welcome to the start of a brand new year. I love the beginning of brand new years, don't you? It's just so much promise and that all the new beginnings and the new resolutions and the new goals, I love it. And um, my name is Dina Kretzer. I'm an independent consultant and executive regional vice president with Arbonne International. Oh, that is a mouthful. And I just want to uh, especially welcome all of our guests. There are a lot of guests here tonight. I really want to welcome you and commend you for coming. You're either here to support a consultant and just learn more about it for her or maybe to learn more about it for you. And all of us here as consultants see this opportunity as a gift. We really do. It's a gift that most of us, myself included, were positive sure we wanted nothing to do with when it was offered to us. Uh, we think we know what these things are and quickly dismiss them, at least I did. And I am so grateful for the person who shared it with me. And all we do in the first part of this meeting is really kind of open that gift for you and let you look inside and just see what Arbon, what Arbon the company, products, <clears throat> opportunity are all about. So I have the privilege tonight of starting off with sharing some solid facts about all three of those things, the products, Arbonne, corporate, and this business model, network marketing. And just as a little bit of background on me so that you will know how on earth I got involved in this because there is not one consultant I've ever met in my nine years in Arbonne who thought when they were in grade school or college, I will grow up and be a consultant with Arbonne. So I certainly was not. Nine years ago, I'd never even heard the word Arbonne. I was visiting St. Louis when a friend said that her sister in Nebraska had become a consultant and had sent her some sample pack to try. And that is how, skipping over a fun story that I love to share, but to keep moving, um, that is how I ended up with the sample pack in the mail from Nebraska Girl. And I had tried plenty of anti-aging, <clears throat> seeing that I was about to turn the big five number. And um, I had tried it all, I thought. Everything labeled anti-aging that was in the you know, Target shelves or the expensive things in the department store. So I did not have any high hopes that whatever this little sample pack is was going to do anything different. But you know, we always want to try one more thing, and it was a free sample. So I noticed immediately how, within a day, how my skin felt. And by the time I had squished every drop out of my little sample pack, I thought it will probably not do anything visible. Nothing does but I want my skin to feel like this. This is amazing. I don't remember it even feeling like this in college. So I ordered it and just began using and enjoying it. And in about four weeks, I could see some visible differences. I didn't want to think that I saw, but then others started commenting. I thought, oh my goodness, there really is a change here. Now, I'm not talking about a change that makes me look like I'm, you know, in my 30s when, I'm, when I was approaching 50 then and approaching something else big right now. But, um, you get very excited when you see some visible changes. And I just started telling my friends, nobody had heard of Arbonne. You know, we were still like, is it Airborne, Arbonne? You know. And <laughs> I said, let me get, you know, Nebraska girl out there to send me some more samples. I'll get samples for you. So of course, when I keep asking for samples, the consultant said, you should take a look at doing this as a business. And I immediately, the wall went up. I was like, oh my goodness, no. In my mind, you know, of course, I didn't say this to her, but I was like, it's one of these things, and I'm not going to ever do one of these things. But she said, you're doing what a consultant does. You're using the products, you love the products, and you are recommending them just honestly because you love them. That's all we do. But that's, I thought, that's not all they do. I bet they have home parties, and I'm never going to do one of those little home things. I don't even go to them, and I say no every time somebody wants me to host one, so absolutely not, except that I wouldn't tell her no. I would tell her those lame things like, oh, I'm just walking out the door. I really don't have time for this. You've never done that, have you? I really don't do that. I try not to do that. But I did it for her because I, I didn't want to say no because she was my friend's sister, but I didn't want to listen to it either because I knew it would waste both of our time. 
So finally, when she was politely <clears throat> persistent and seemed to be just really, bless her heart, wanting to share this thing mm -hmm. with me, I thought, let me just put her out of her misery and me too, and I will give her a 10 minutes, which is about nine and a half more <coughs> than I wanted to give her, and let her go through some information, and I'll act like I'm listening, and then we'll be done with this. And, but I did know that I would be her loyal client forever and ever, and I would send people to her. And uh, so what I'm getting ready to share here is some of the information that I heard on the phone as we clicked through a very similar presentation that day. And it started with her asking, well actually her closing was asking a couple of questions that I want to put up here first because I think they're so important. So if you want to skip to the, the two questions in there would be great. Um, and that is the first one. Where will you be in five years if you continue to do what you're doing now, especially financially? And the second one, if something unforeseen were to happen to the main source of income in your household, how long could you get by on what you have saved? I didn't like reading or hearing, seeing those two questions in this presentation, not because it made me think of uncomfortable things. It was because I thought about those two questions all the time already. Um, it was because, you know, way back when, way back when I had been a young mom beginning to raise children, I had stood in front of those same two doors that I like to call them that every young mom stands in front of. And it's door number one. Do I stay home and raise these children the way I want to? Do I pour my life and love and energy and raise them in you know, every way what I want to do? Or, and then not have an income. Or door number two, do I continue to work, but have an income, but not all the income, because where does some of it go? To pay the ones that are actually raising the children that I wanted to raise in the first place. And I am absolutely not here to say there's a right and a wrong, there is not. Both of those have benefits, and in both of those, there's a high price to be paid for the good part of each of them on different levels. And um, we ended up choosing, um, door number one, because I could not let these two little girls go anywhere else, but right there in my home. And I did not want to miss a minute of it. You know, you think right now, if you're one of those moms that have the little children at home, every day kind of looks like the day before and the same messes and the same tantrums and the same little, you know, clashes over the same, you know. But it seems like it goes on and on, but it doesn't. You get 18 years with these children. And now those little girls are 28 and 31. And I am so grateful that I did not miss a minute of it. But I had no idea when I made the decision for door number one that there was a door number three that I didn't even know about. I wish I had known that because I could have, if I'd known about Arvon, had door number one of being home with them, but with very minimal hours away from them, that they could have been home with daddy, which would have been a really good thing for them to do, some more daddy time. Um, I could have built a business <clears throat> that could have either contributed a little to our monthly income or it could have replaced my income and then gone on to surpass my income and gone on to replace my husband's income and set him completely free in terms of time freedom and financial freedom. But I did not know that back then. And so we um, just continued to go with me staying home and for a while things were fine. My husband had a good job in corporate America and I got to do all the fun stay-at-home mom things until he got tired of trading his valuable time for a set dollar amount and building the wealth of someone else and decided he would start his own CPA firm. And that was a big change for us. He was instantly a happier camper and has been ever since. That was about 20 years ago. But uh, a lot of changes happen real quick when you go from a great job with benefits with things like health insurance, uh, company car. We had a country club membership all paid for by his company bonuses and raises every year. And that was all great. When we were a one income family, I was enjoying all the benefits of that and in La La Land with my little girls. And so, um, you know, it was in that adjustment, we were debt free and we paid the bills, but we certainly stopped doing all extras, any kind of vacationing and just extras. And I did not miss stuff. I did not miss shopping for stuff. I did not care that I couldn't do more decorating in the house type stuff. I just wanted memory making experiences and that's what we were not able to do. Just, you know, just not even that it wasn't 
big vacations, just even little vacations. <clears throat> and then in um, 2000, we bought another company that my husband found in the paper and decided it would be a great business for me. It's like, let, let me choose. I know I need to be working, and um, but I also didn't want to be gone in the afternoons and the summers and the two weeks for Christmas. And so this was a pre-employment screening firm, and I've been doing it, still do it, ever since 2000. When a company gets ready, one of our clients gets ready to hire someone, I get their application, I call the schools, I call the past employments, personal references, put all that on the website and the client decides. <clears throat> so the thing with that is, is that it um, is unfulfilling and boring. I've felt like a robot could do this and feel many days that I am the robot doing it. But um, it did allow me a lot of freedom and it made me over the years that we had that, six years of that before I was introduced to Arbonne and in those six years, I say that I have become absolutely unemployable because as even though I didn't love the work, I loved that when I wanted to go see something at my daughter's schools or you know, sports something, I didn't have to ask anyone if it was okay if I was gone from this hour to this hour. If I wanted to have lunch with friends and celebrate a birthday or just run the you know, kids around after school or anything, I didn't ask anybody's permission if it was okay. If we were doing family beach week, Jeff's family, I didn't have to ask and hear that two people had already asked for that week off on vacation. So I got a real taste of what it was to be my own boss. But that business had two serious downsides for me. One, as you can kind of picture, there were no people in it, and I like people. I not only missed being with people, I wanted my work to have something of great meaning and significance in other lives. And what I did only brought in an income. It was never going to turn into anything where what I did was really counting and influencing and making a difference in the life of someone else. And even though I was bringing in an income, this is the other downside, there was nothing about that business that was building wealth, just as there was nothing about my husband's CPA firm that was building wealth. Both of us were bringing in an income, we were paying the bills, but we still on into our 50s, or I guess when I heard of Arbonne, or approaching 50, um, had not found a way to really have that significant <coughs> stream of residual income so that one day we could retire. So that second question up there too always was hanging over me. What if something happened to Jeff? That's the main source of income. I couldn't, I don't even want to learn how to be a CPA. You know, I'd lose all those clients in a heartbeat because I don't want to, my heart's not in it. What would I do? And I never really, I had the answer sort of in the background screening firm, but it wasn't something that I wanted to build and grow because it was not fulfilling to me. Let's take a sip of water. So that is just a little, you can go to the next slide. That is just a little of the background of where my mind and my life was when I was introduced to this opportunity. And I'm going to start with um, the next page. <coughs> with just starting with the commission because if you're taking a look at this business you need to know what it is that you can expect to earn and you begin as a consultant and we show you how to promote to district in your first two to three months and a district manager on this chart it says between 200 and a thousand but most district managers earn at least 500 a month and now Conley's going to tell you some great things that even consultants paychecks have gone um, our ones making it where they're going up in January and then we so a district manager for 500 to a thousand a month what could that be that could be a car payment it could cover some extra kid activities it could be that too much month at the end of the money cushion it could be a lot of things right there and um, the next promotion is to area manager where the commission ranges from a thousand to thirty five hundred a month so that could be even more. That could be a mortgage payment in there. It could be <clears throat> definitely savings for vacation in there. It could be <clears throat> matching a full-time income, at least matching a part-time, and then depending on what your full-time income is, it could be matching and replacing a full-time income. It says income becomes willable. You can will it. My business is willed to my family to where if anything happened to me, they, re they have my ID number. That's what you're willing is your ID number. And my family would continue to receive my check from Arbonne for two generations. I have yet to hear of any other company that does that. 
if the place where you're working, if you're employed, if something happened to you today, um, if you're a teacher, would Chesterfield County continue to give your paycheck to your family for the next two generations? Uh, you know, on and on. <laughs> the next promotion is regional vice president. <coughs> and you're going to hear from Connolly Stewart in, um, at the end. Connolly and I are regional vice presidents. And the commission ranges from 3500 to 16000 a month. The reason you're seeing all these ranges and quite a difference is that right when you promote to the new level, your commission check would look like the smaller number. And as you're getting ready to promote to the next level, your income would be already at what the next level is. Argonne also goes, and you know, I'm not going to try to even say what you can do with that. That could be, that, that is beginning to make some different life choices in there, just really opening up some options. To me, when I saw these, and even today, nine years later, this is not about having more money to buy lots more stuff. It is options, it is choices, and it is, again, for me, being able to create some great memories with having a little more breathing room in the budget. Carbon also gives a white Mercedes at this level, and how they do that is they put 800 in your check after you have purchased or leased the Mercedes, they put an eight, they put an extra 800 bonus in your check to make that payment. We had our payment come in at 650, so our bond was covering more than just the car payment when I had the car payment. The car has been paid off for almost two years, so we still received the 800 that I'm no longer making a payment. And in a, you know, a few more months, maybe within a year, I will go on and get a new car and let Jeff have my old 2009 first Mercedes from Arbonne, and Arbonne will continue. <coughs> oh, goodness, it's just, it's just this dry air. I'm not one bit sick. This is not the sick car. <laughs> um, that one was before. But anyway, um, so that is a great benefit. At the national vice president level, the car bonus is 1000 And the average commission is 22000 a month. It starts at 16000 and goes on up from there. Lots of people are earning this. There is no reason everyone who begins this business cannot get to that level. Maybe that's not a goal of yours. There are people who would be just thrilled to stay at area manager, and you know what? You get to decide that. Whether I begin this business, quite honestly, to reach the top level and take many others there with me. Because I so see how simple this is, how it can be done, and while there's 2,000 VPs in Arbonne, there's about six in, well, 2,000 um, that have the white Mercedes. There's probably about six in the state of Virginia. And, you know, there's towns where there's 30 in one little town. So it's wide open in this whole state. So um, let's go on to the next page here. It doesn't matter what those commissions were. I could not have done this if it had just been to get in front of people and have some strange widget that they never needed before. They lived their whole lives without, and now I have some latest, greatest little widget that people need to buy. I couldn't get in front of them, even though there's nothing wrong with it, um, and zero offense if anyone in here does it. But I would have a hard time with jewelry and bags and more things, because everyone has lots of things in their closets already. More things than you other putting things out in garage sales right and left. But these are products that people use every day. People are buying all the time anyway. We're just introducing them to a pure, safe alternative. So our company that needs to be updated is a 35-year-old health and wellness company with all botanically-based Swiss formulations. I had no idea really what Swiss formulated meant, but um, Arbonne is formulated in Switzerland and therefore goes by the European Union Cosmetic Directive which bans more than a thousand ingredients that are widely used in the United States. And there's some really scary, dangerous ones in there. I had no idea that what goes on our skin goes into the bloodstream within 26 seconds without passing through a major detoxifying organ. At least what we eat gets a little help from the liver. Um, but what goes into the bloodstream, what goes into the skin is right there into the bloodstream. And so a, a lot of reason for so much disease in America is what we're putting into our skin, things we would never put into our mouths, but we put on our skin, and it has even more of a dangerous effect there. So you all can kind of scan this, the vegan certified, gluten-free, soy-free, no synthetic dyes, no chemical fragrance, formulated without toxins, carcinogens, parabens, all of that. 
that um, Arbonne's philosophy is what's at the top, pure, safe, beneficial. So if the product's not pure, the ingredient's not pure, it doesn't go in. If it's not safe, it doesn't go in. And then, you know, if it's pure and safe but gives no benefits, we don't want it anyway. It needs to do something. So it has to benefit. And they test and test to be sure that it benefits us before it goes in. And just a, a quick word on quality when it comes to skin care. There's really three grades. The American Beauty starting at the bottom is what you're going to see in the drugstores and grocery stores. And, you know, I've even tried some of that when I decided I was wasting my money on the premium products, which is what I mostly bought was a brand in the department store, <coughs> mostly the French formulations. And most people have never tried an ultra premium product. I had not because I was paying enough in the department store. It's like, oh my word, I can't go up any higher on this. But the um, ultra premium are the Swiss formulations, medical grades, the boutique appointment only. And they're so pricey that again, most people never look at those. But Arbonne is an ultra premium grade product but it's sold not just at the premium level, but with all the discounts that we get and that our preferred clients get, the price point comes out at the lower end of the premium grade. And so very often, one way that we share the products, and this was very attractive to me when I was looking into the business, is one way that we share is to give out full-size sets of our anti-aging skincare. And when I would say 90% of those I've ever given one to over these nine years have not tried an ultra premium grade product and when they get this on their skin for a week morning night morning night morning night by the time that it's time to meet and pick this up they have felt the difference many of them are already seeing the difference but they for sure feel it so um to to the next. these products and it's not just this but there's as you're here in a minute so much more in arbon it's all sold mm -hmm through the business model of network marketing. And that can be so misunderstood. I thought I knew all about it. I thought, isn't that one of those pyramid things? Now, I had never done any research, knew, couldn't have even hardly explain what a pyramid was, but someone said that someone said that someone said, you know, it's one of those pyramid things. <clears throat> Could not be further from that. Most of us, if we've worked in a corporation, have worked in a true pyramid, where if you come in, if you come in at the bottom, you get an entry-level position, you are capped at a certain salary. If you move up or you have more education and more experience when you start, you're going to be paid more, but still capped and forming a pyramid here. At the top are the, maybe the owner, the CEO, the CFO. Those at the top are always going to make immensely more than those at the entry level. And it doesn't matter how much those people down here work to better themselves and how hard they work and how late they work they are never going to be able to be at the salary <coughs> or the position of those at the top. And you can think of the school system like that, the hospitals, any corporation that you can think of is structured like a pyramid. And yet network marketing gets the quick blame for being the pyramid when it's just the opposite. You know, I draw my little pyramid on paper um, and you are down at the bottom point of the pyramid and of the pyramid, of an inverted pyramid which then is not a pyramid. And then you can take it as high, it's a, you can take it as high and deep and wide as you want to go. There will never be a glass ceiling. And it is just word of mouth. It's just recommending, like we recommend a restaurant. If I told you I love the Daily in Carytown and there were five people in here who had never heard of it, and you all go to the Daily in the next couple of weeks, they are not going to send me a check to thank you. They have no way to track that. But in Arbonne, they simply do track it. Those who are referring, recommending the products are paid for that. In traditional retail, the product starts at the manufacturer, goes to the wholesaler, the warehouser, the advertisers have a chunk of change in there, huge chunk at the retail level with all the overhead. So by the time we are purchasing it as consumers, that's why the price is so high. But the reason that Arbonne can have a premium grade product and sell it an ultra premium grade product and sell it at the premium price point is because there's none of those middlemen. It's just us in the middle. So it's going from the manufacturer, shipping straight to the consumer, and we are not even physically in the middle. We are on the internet system in the middle, but thankfully, I don't think I'd have a consultant in this room working with me. 
well, for one, I wouldn't be a consultant if it meant that I had to open boxes on my porch and go drive to Short Pump and then Hopewell and then Powhatan and then the fan and deliver products. I could not do that. No one has time for that. So a lot of network marketing companies do depend on your ability to, you're limited by where you want to run products. <coughs> but we can have products, we can have clients and teams in any city, state, and country that we're in. I love this part. It's one of my favorite, just solid points of this presentation. Um, this Dr. Charles King was a Harvard graduate. He was a professor in Illinois and did a, at a college in Illinois, did an exhaustive study with a student on network marketing because the student wanted to research it. And they came up with four key factors that you have to have to have a successful network marketing company because clearly y'all know that we're not the only network marketing company. There's lots of choices out there. So how would you choose if you begin to believe in the business model of network marketing and like that no glass ceiling? Well, how would you choose? The first of the key factors is consumable <clears throat> products. I'll just read through all four of them and then go to the next screen. Marketplace demand, timing and trends, the ability to leverage your time. So the consumable products, I'm gonna spend the least amount of time on because that is a no brainer. Y'all know what that means. As soon as you, you know, use that up, you need to order more. A protein shake in our house for one person lasts 30 days because I drink one every day. So it takes two protein shakes a month for my husband and I. Happy clients, we're our own best customers, get online and reorder those shakes. The eye cream, the cleanser, everything is going to run out. So unlike some of the other non-consumable products that are in other network marketing businesses, it might have a lifetime guarantee. Do you want to sell something that has a lifetime guarantee? <clears throat> and your clients will never need to order it again. We can sell something that runs out. And I mean, it's just good business to be working with something that needs to be ordered again and again. And it's amazing what the repeat sales are. And not just to see the sales numbers, but to see that that means <coughs> very happy, satisfied clients that have to have their arm on again. And wait back up one more. Um, and also that, because I'm going to stand this for the next two, <coughs> the marketplace demand is the second one. That is whatever you have has to be something that the biggest possible part of the population would <coughs> want or need. And in Arbonne, from the baby line to the anti-aging line to in between acne line for every age, sensitive skin line for every age, um, the the line for younger skin and our FC5 line, the men's anti-aging, women's anti-aging, and the full line of cosmetics, hair care, I'm not even gonna list everything except for the nutrition, which is another of our top favorites, because it's not just that we have one wrinkle cream and one protein shake, it's a full <laughs> line of nutritional products. So as our retired president always said, as long as you can find people with hair and skin, you know, there's people out there who use these products. And then the timing and trends is that health, wellness, the way we look and feel has never been more important from the baby boomers who we are trying to look as good as we can and feel as good as we can for as long as we can to generation X and Y and the millennials coming up who it seems like the younger generations are being so much more proactive about their health, reading labels way earlier than probably started reading labels 10 years ago. <coughs> and the other part of the timing, and that is not going to be a passing phase. Health, wellness, I mean, look at the gym on every corner, people working out, people going to yoga classes, Pilates classes, what other classes, Dottie? You teach them all, <laughs> don't you? Um, anyway, that just it's always going to be something that now that we're waking up to what we need to do to be proactive about our health or reverse signs of aging if we haven't been. <clears throat> and then another part of the timing and trends is that the self-employment revolution is happening. And people, especially in the last 10 years, are really, really since 2008, and the downturn in the economy then, and a lot of people really surprised by companies that they thought would be there for them forever. And, you know, during that year, Arvon never laid off a corporate employee. They did not cut our bonuses. We still got our trip earned. Everyone had full commission checks. Nobody ever got a sad letter from the company telling us, you know, anything. Our mind clicked right on because in a recession, three things do not suffer. 
tobacco, alcohol, and health, wellness, beauty, skincare products. Um, so we are recession proof, but also we are such a way to build your own business. People are looking for how can they have their own business. And a lot of people do with the type of thing that Jeff and I have done where you're kind of a slave to your business. This is completely different. <coughs> Because this is what I want to use to explain the ability to leverage your time. Something else that I was not familiar with. So it starts with you. On day one, it's just you. It's exciting. No one else knows you're even in business. But then, you might teach, let's just say just those four in the middle around the center person. Maybe she works 10 hours a week and teaches just those four around her to also work 10 hours a week. She's being paid on 50 hours a week. If she helps those four to teach their four, she's going to be paid on 21 hours a week. When she, sorry? <laughs> Even though she's still working only 10 hours. Oh, no, it's more than that. 210. Two, 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 ah, yeah. um, two, I knew that was not right. There's more, more hours there. 210 hours a week. And it just keeps going from there. I think there's another slide like that. It just continues to be, with the strength in your retail network, that means you are still introducing others to the products. And then building your network of independent consultants as well. So you are just like that consultant told me way back when she said, you're already doing this. You are using the products, recommending them, and then teaching others to do the very same thing. So we have a very simple system for success. That's all we do, shopping for our own, for our own store. And I just said that, teaching and training others to do the same thing. Um, a lot of us have been reading in the last year a book called Go Pro by Eric Worre. It's not a book or a name that any guest here should recognize. I had never heard of him before, just the last maybe year when we started reading his book, and we've listened to a lot of trainings. I'm going to listen to that training that I <coughs> recommended where he talks about the two kinds of people when it comes to the business world. And I really like this. It was um, that he said, when in, in the business world, two mindsets, two kinds of people. One is the coin operated and one is the entrepreneur. Now, I think there's some people that might be exceptions in, to the coin operated if they absolutely love their job to the point that they would do it if they weren't paid. You know, if they would just love to get up and go to work every day and do what they're doing. So don't make, don't think that I'm just dumping every employee and every you know self-employed business owner into this. But just, I think a lot of people fall into this coin operated, he said, are like doing a dance for a little while and then somebody puts a coin in the slot and they dance a little bit more for a couple more weeks, a little coin gets put in the slot and as long as they keep, you know, the coins keep putting in, they're going to keep dancing and I thought that so describes Jeff's and my business because that was my biggest concern even though I didn't have that little dancing and coin operated, um, you know, verbiage to use. <laughs> <coughs> but that's the kind of thing, in other, in different words, that I would tell my husband, if we ever stop dancing for our clients, they will stop putting coins in the slot. Does that make sense? If you stop doing the dance that you do at work, your employer will stop putting coins in the slot. But the opposite is the entrepreneur who is willing to invest now in time, in effort, in education, and sharing and learning and copying those that they are following knowing, you know, not worried about, you know, wait, I worked this many hours this week, and my paycheck was this, you know, not even looking there. So <coughs> Arvon's paychecks at the beginning, I think, are just getting better and better. But it's investing now for a huge return down the road. But the thing that resonated with me the most that he said about the coin-operated people and the entrepreneurs, and I'd never heard it expressed like this before, is that the coin-operated person works so they can rest. They work all week long so they can get to that weekend and rest and have two days to call their own. Does that sound familiar to anyone? Or they work for months at a time so they can get to that week vacation or work a few more months and get to that other week of vacation. They're always working so they can get off. They're working with that downtime, playtime, rest time, always as a goal. But entrepreneurs rest just enough to get back to work because work for us means growth and contribution. And I love that. I, was, I thought, I, you know, that's exactly what I feel. I just couldn't have expressed it that well. 
you know, I can because he gave me those words. <laughs> but it's like, it's so true. I feel like we rest just enough to be able to go and, and work never gets to be something that we want a break from. You know, I even think all the time, how are we going to retire from these businesses that we own? I never think, how am I going to retire from Harvard? <clears throat> Y'all have to make me stop. <laughs> but um, I love what I do because what did I say back at the beginning when I was typing these boring things into the website for the background screening? I want work that's meaningful in others' lives. I want work that I can see that I'm making mm -hmm. a significant contribution and not just a contribution to my team, but what we're able to do is making a contribution to the world. So just to wrap up, I had a couple of pictures in here that I can show that are just some things for now, choices that I get to have because I said yes to this business. <clears throat> One is I do get to have my time and I do get to uh, be able to choose that I can go babysit these little grandsons of mine. They, you know, Carly was getting married right after I started my Arbonne business. I love these little boys. And she is very happily married, in case you're wondering. He just didn't make the picture. <laughs> <coughs> but I love that when I'm asked to come, you know, babysit or just, you know, that I can have them come spend the night, spend days with them without asking a boss if it is okay if I'm off or take time off without pay or account to anyone. I am so grateful for that. And another thing that I said that we did not do because we did not have my income for so many years was an extra, like a vacation, because we never put anything on a credit card that we couldn't pay by the end of the month. So vacations quickly went out the door. But thanks to Arvon, my younger daughter and I did get to check a huge thing off our bucket list when we went to Italy together this summer. And it wasn't that it had to be that trip, but it was just such a memory-making experience to have that time and have my younger daughter say, if you do not go, I am going to get a friend to go with me. But you're my best friend, and you're the one I want to take my first trip to Europe with. So I am so grateful for that. And then, you know this picture of this, because I've had it before, but Connelly, Amy, Jesse, there's our picture. <clears throat> this is the four of us last year when we went to Hawaii because our executive national vice president, Lynn Puana, had an incentive for area managers and VPs and treated us to a lot of great things in Hawaii. This, I'll be honest and say, it was after a, a photo shoot because we didn't look like this most of the time. <laughs> so just, just being honest here. Um, but we, I would not know Amy, Jesse, and Connelly apart from Arbonne, I would not know anyone in this room if you are part of my team, apart from Arbonne, and I am so, so grateful because I get to spend my life with like-minded entrepreneurs who are all about growth and contribution. So um, I'm going to stop for now, and we're going to move on, but thank you for taking a uh, just listening to that, and I hope that some of that may resonate with you because it is, I had no idea how rewarding it would be on other levels. And I hope you're hearing something besides just the income in here. There's so many other levels of just personal satisfaction and reward and energy um, that are part of my life because of this business choice. So the next thing we want to do, Connolly, come on up, <coughs> is to recognize recognize um, consultants for their accomplishments in the last month. So first we want to recognize any qualifications behind me. No, oh my gosh, did I print out two of these? I know that we can do it. We just looked at it. Okay, there it is. I know, we have it all. We're, We're good. good. We're good. Mm -hmm. We're yep. And in <coughs> qualification for district, which is our first level of management, I want to recognize Amber Fry. Come up here. And there you are. I am absolutely loving getting to know you and your wonderful sister. So you just stay right up here because I want to next recognize Amber's sister, Anna Nice, for promoting to district manager. So this is a brand new district manager. Oh my goodness. I had no idea when I went to a women's fellowship at my daughter's church over a year ago, and these two came to my table, and I just got to know these sisters that had this awesome family and awesome sister love, and we got to the same table this year. Never, what it was like a year, and you said you never knew that I did this. Right. And we had never even talked, but anyway, it's, it's been so awesome to get to know you now. And so I have a few gifts for you. 
Um, because you get gifts from your district manager and your area manager and your regional vice president, and I am all those for you. <laughs> so, um, anyway, there is district, area, and um, and then, and our organization, we give these pearl bracelets. Does anybody have theirs on tonight? I actually took mine off and then didn't put it back on. And so you get this from your RVP when you promote to district, and then when you promote districts or have your perfect foot, you get the charm if you go on it. So anyway, you, you'll see a lot of people wearing this. And this I think also was in there, I don't know how I did not get that wrapped. But anyway, <laughs> let's get a picture um, of you too. Yay! I have to say one quick thing about Anna. If y'all were on the call last night, you heard me recognize her. <clears throat> but this sweet young girl just had her fourth baby. And she had her fourth baby, is it September? Yeah, September. And began this business in November, just two weeks before Thanksgiving. And, you know, having been in this business for nine years, I think I've heard every excuse of why to start later that there could be. Oh, it's the holidays. Nobody will want to come to anything in the holidays. I just had a baby. Would have been a really good excuse. And this is my fourth child. Would have been a really good excuse. And going into Thanksgiving and Christmas, and you two both just and so naturally shared. I've listened to both of them share with their friends, and it's just a, why would I not share this with my friends? These products have made such a difference. So, anyway, I think you two are awesome. And how neat to get to do this. Do you want me to do you want, do you want, do you want to well, do one? Well, I'll do one with them and then I'll do one. One, two, three. All right, Connelly, do one with them. Stay here. Got it. Yeah. Are you ready? Bring that. One, two, three. All right. Okay. Congrats. 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 We want to recognize all those who got their district manager bonus, which is rather than having the 2500 to maintain district, it's having 5000 in your district and having five new preferred clients or consultants in your district. So we, your real um, gift from that is from Arbonne, and it's a $200 bonus. And I believe Fran got an extra $200 bonus because she's still in the growth strong period, so that's a... A great incentive, Anna, we've talked about for after your district, there's still more bonuses to earn from Arbonne. And we want to recognize everyone who received their district manager bonus this month. Up there the right here. Moved them. Okay. You want me to read them? Sure. Okay. Start with you, Connolly. Connolly <laughs> Stewart. Thank you. This is just our fun little recognition of the Starbucks gift card, but you do get 200 from Arbonne. Yeah. <laughs> Jeanette Stoneman. Ginger Rucker. <laughs> Jesse Collier. Brown, and Dina Kutzer. Well, y'all, since y'all are all there, so photo ready. Okay. All right, guys. Just humor this for a moment. And uh, humor this. Humor this. One, two, three. There we go. All right. So, congrats. That is great. Great. And then, area manager bonus, I want to recognize Connelly. And um, an area manager is another bonus from $400 bonus from Arbonne and another trip to Starbucks for Con. And then, um, you want to describe that? Okay. Uh, we also have been recognizing, we're changing one thing on the recognition, but we always want to recognize for what we call the perfect brick. And I realize the guest is like, what is a perfect brick? Hopefully, no consultant is asking what that is by now. But that is, we've talked about the building block of your business is, in, in contrast to this being any kind of a get-rich-quick scheme, because it absolutely is not run from those if somebody is, is uh, teaching that. But it is laying the solid foundation of your business by each month, having 2,500 in sales, that's you and your new preferred clients and consultants, and having five new preferred clients and consultants that you have personally sponsored. So we call that your perfect brick, because you picture, I love the visual, a brick upon brick upon brick lays a stable foundation for your business. 
So there are lots of perfect brick earners who've been giving Starbucks cards. But we're going to start this month by giving charms to go on those bracelets that you have. Only there's one perfect brick earner that won't have a bracelet yet. And Amber, you earned your perfect brick. So you hang on to this charm because you'll be coming up here as a new district manager next month. And then you'll have the bracelet to put on it. So all of the perfect brick ones are... Let me grab the charms first. Will you read yours first, Connolly? Perfect. perfect brick. Yay. Now you can read the others. Okay, Ginger Rucker. Miranda Jack. Amber, Amber Fry. And a nice. Okay, who's the other charm? Jesse. Okay. And Jesse Collier. Okay. Come on, that's right. We didn't call yeah. it. Yeah. Jesse's like, where's yeah. the charm? <laughs> this should wow. be, is that a heart or a tree? So there's a heart and, a and tree. Yay. There we go. They go in an order. Yeah. It's the heart and then the key and then the tree. So anyway, congrats <laughs> because <laughs> it's pretty cool to see that the two that were in qualification for district and finishing district were also perfect brick. That's direct. That's not a coincidence. That's how that happened. So also, I just want to shout out to Miss Jessie Collier, halfway to region again, and moving on up. And, um, and then I would just love for every consultant who is part of my organization to stand, because I want to recognize you for something. To stand if you're part of my organization, so not sideline. Yes, Connolly's and mine together. Yep. We together were well over halfway to nation. I had to calculate that we were really at the two-thirds way to nation. So thank you all. <laughs> so I'm recognizing you. I need to sit down and you all stand. So that's a team effort. And um, you know, it's exciting to me because getting to that is not about me. It's about showing you what's possible. And it's about just it will raise your belief when you are part of a group that comes together to form a nation, just like it was for all of you to come together when Connolly became, or, um, Connolly's team became her region. So we are getting there, and um, I, I'm just excited to help you all with your individual goals. And next, we have um, Jesse. Jesse. He's going to talk to you about an incentive that Arbonne offers. Jesse? Yeah. Sorry. Right? I was answering your question. Okay. 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 <coughs> So who likes free products or Me. free anything <laughs> that you got? Very yeah. right, good. And if you didn't raise your hand, you lied. Um, so what about a thousand dollars in free Arbonne product? Pretty awesome. And so Arbonne offers a really awesome incentive for new consultants who get off to a strong start. Funny enough, it's called Strong Start. And so this is how we teach our new consultants to promote to the first level district manager where you're earning an income even on your own personal purchases. And that, if that's done, if you, if you promote to district manager within your first two to three months, you sponsor three new consultants who purchase over 150 in product. Um, did I miss anything? No. That's it. Huh. Pretty nice. If you do that, then you get a thousand dollars worth of product. That's a free RE9 set. It's a seven hundred dollar product <coughs> voucher to go and buy whatever products that you want to organize your home and help you build your business. You also get a key necklace, which Lauren. I saw Lauren wearing, um, and you get a tote as well, which you can't buy. You can only earn, so that's pretty cool. But thousand dollars of free product is really cool. So that is something that Arbon, Arbon offers, and we help new consultants do that, and it is attainable. Can you explain that again? So within the first three months? So if you promote to district manager in the first two or three months, and you sponsor three new consultants who purchase over 150 worth of product with their start order, then you earn all of that. Okay? Thank you. Go get them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. That was awesome, Jesse. I do love free product. Yeah. Um, okay, you guys, I just want to talk briefly about our Arbonne incentive trip. So 
We now know you love free products, so who also likes a free vacation? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Definitely me. Yeah, so I, I see lots of hands up. So our Arbon Incentive Trip was just launched last this past month in December, and so it's at, to Atlantis, hence the Atlantis towel here. Arbon did that. Um, years ago 2011, 2011. and if you guys haven't <laughs> been to Atlantis Atlantis is like top-notch Arbonne doesn't do an incentive trip that isn't top-notch anything truly that Arbonne does they roll the red carpet out so I've been on two incentive trips myself and I cannot wait to earn the Atlantis for Ryan and me it's a great getaway from the kids sometimes so anyways just a note on that anyone who's brand new in January, any any sales that you have from this month in January, if you register for the Arbonne Incentive Trip, that volume gets doubled for the amount of volume that you need to complete the, in the trip, the qualifications. So if you have already signed up and you're committed, just keep the focus there because we're all so, so excited about the trip and just how it really gives us laser beam focus to go share it with others because you can start you can totally start in January and still earn it, and we can show you how. Okay, and then the other thing is our global training conference. That is a conference we have every month, every year. It is global because Arbonne is a global company, um, and it is in April. And I know we have several registered already, and some who have not who have registered who haven't gotten their bracelet too. So who has recently registered who haven't gotten the bracelet? I know Nicole. Yay. Okay. You didn't get yours either? All right. So it's a hair tie, not a bracelet. Yeah. Unless you're a guy, then you get the bracelet. You're welcome. And so this is in Las Vegas, if I haven't said that yet. And it is, it's non-negotiable, honestly. If you are really in it to win it and grow your business, you really need to commit and come to GTC. Plus, we have so much fun. It's such an amazing team bonding experience. You see, I mean, this... Honestly, Dina, you painted, painted an amazing picture of what this business is in, in your presentation. So imagine that times like 25,000, right? <laughs> yeah, because you're going to see, and actually the first GTC I attended was my shift to know that I could really do this business and use it to replace my teaching salary and beyond. It painted the picture for me. So commit to that. Come with us. And if you're brand new, we'll share with you, you know, just chat with the person who's, who's sponsoring you into the business and we'll chat with you about the reduced registration rate as well. And now I'm going to turn it. So Heidi will be next. And Heidi is going to come up to talk a little bit about our 30-day clean eating program. And then after Heidi, Julia Jane, if you just want to scoot right up to, Julia Jane has a special message for you guys. Thank you, Heidi. Thank you. And I do want to say, Heidi has really embraced this program. Dina has talked so much about that. So I know you're like the perfect one to share. Oh, so thank, thank you. you. So uh, well, I'm Heidi Thompson. I'm a district manager and independent consultant with Arbonne. And I'm going to talk for just a few minutes about the 30 Days to Healthy Living program. And because all of us here tonight are connected to a consultant in oh, some way, I'm not going to answer specific product questions or talk about each each thing in the 30 day program product by product. Um, rather, I thought I wanted to talk about the incredible overall impact that this product can have on you, on your life, on yourself, and on your business if you're a consultant or if you're thinking about becoming a consultant. So January is a huge month for this program. And I was wondering, by a show of hands, how many started the January program yesterday? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and um, how many are doing it for the very first time starting yesterday? Okay, that's awesome. I'm so excited to start. Because you're getting ready to have this amazing experience where you're going to learn so much about yourselves, and it's just great. I'm super excited for you guys. Um, a little bit about me. Professionally, I was in nonprofit marketing and fundraising for 10 years, and then for the past five years, I've been a stay-at-home mom to two completely sweet, completely wild, rascally boys, and I'm so grateful for my time with them. I really am. But I also loved working outside the home, and I love grown-ups. I love uninterrupted conversations with people, and I also love stretching my abilities and learning. And so I had already started thinking toward the future, thinking what is the future going to look like for our family. 
But that did not include thinking about starting a network marketing business, I can tell you for sure. Uh, and then I was introduced to Arbonne by my friend and neighbor, Laura, who's in the back there. And initially, I was very hesitant to even go to an event. I didn't want to feel obligated to buy anything or host an event at my house. I didn't want to get on an email spam list that I couldn't get off of. And I had all these misconceptions about what it would be like. And after about a year of Laura consistently and kindly inviting me, I did agree to go to a skincare and makeup presentation. And I met amazing Dina there. I bought one thing, and Laura gave me a few samples. I really liked everything I tried, so I bought a few more things. And I also agreed to go to a nutrition presentation about the 30-day program. And that is where everything got really big for me. Um, where I was with my health and wellness at that time was I had a pretty good understanding of what it meant to eat healthily. I already ate a lot of organic foods, we ate very little processed food, highly processed food in our family, but I struggled with consistency, eating that way consistently day in and day out. And then after my second son was born, in addition to struggling with lack of time and beginning to lean on quick foods a little bit more heavily, I also started to struggle with my weight, which is a total bummer. And I lost a sense of control over my life during that time. And I would do healthy menu planning for about a week at a time. We'd stick to it. And then a, one of the kids would get sick. Or my husband worked out of town, so he'd be out of town a few nights in a row. And everything would just kind of unravel again. So I was looking for something that was simple, healthful, and most of all, easily maintainable. And that's when I found this 30 Days to Healthy Living and Beyond program. The combination of Arbonne's pure, safe, and beneficial products included that are included in a package that is 40% off the catalog and website prices, plus the education, the guidance, the recipe and meal planning, the grocery list, and access to a private Facebook group where you can ask really any question that you might have is fantastic. And it all helps you really start on the path to becoming so over the course of the initial 30 days, you clean your body out and you feel so good, so good, you guys, at the end of that first 30 days that you want to keep feeling that way and you realize that you have a simple, a simple tool with our program to keep on going. So for me, going through the first day, 30 days was actually a profound experience. And I always say that I feel silly saying that it was a profound experience except for the fact that it really, really was for me. Um, I, it was an emotional experience for me. I gained a deep understanding of how my body and brain work together to help me stay healthy. And I began losing that weight that I mentioned earlier that had stubbornly stuck around after my second son was born. And most importantly, I learned that healthy eating and living, which can seem very complex and daunting in our culture now, is actually very simple and very easy to so it was after this amazing process that I went through that I started to think, you know what, if this program, this company, and these products have had this kind of a profound impact on me and my life, there might be something here with Arbonne that I need to look at more deeply and really take a look at this business. And so I did. I tried more products. I looked at the business. I learned that Arbonne offers amazing free professional development and business management training to all consultants not just those that are at an upper management level, but when you sign up from day one, you have access to all of this amazing training and all of these amazing leaders and people and everything that they have to offer and teach you. And again, for a stay-at-home mom who was kind of thinking, what's next, that was very exciting to me. Um, but the biggest thing to me initially was the opportunity to help my friends, my family, and people I knew I was going to be meeting to share in the type of amazing experience that I had doing this ARP on 30 day program. And it's been great. Uh, so far, I'm, I'm a relative, I'm still a relatively new consultant. I've been with Arbon for about six months. And so far, I've helped five small groups connect to the larger group on the Facebook page. And they've gone through the program and have had fantastic results. And I've been gathering written testimonials from people. But tonight, I wanted to share a few things that people have just come up to me to say. And um, one client who has lost over 30 pounds in two months, but more important to him is that he's seen joint and back pain significantly reduced in that same time period. And he's learned that if he stops eating clean for even a day or two, that pain comes back. So he just goes back on the program. He's feeling great. Another client sent me this message, and I practice reading this three times because I always tear up when I read it, so forgive me if I do. But she sent me this message. She said, you have helped me reclaim a part of myself 
for that I'm eternally thankful to you and our barn. I mean, that's an awesome message to get. And another friend said, I just love Arbonne. I can't believe how great I feel. I'm amazed and so happy I did this program. That was at a party one night. She just kind of randomly came up to me and started talking about Arbonne and this program. Um, and then many other people have shared stories about how after the initial 30 days is complete, when they've gone to try foods that were previously delicious to them, but maybe not so <laughs> nutritious, um, their bodies make it clear that that food is not something that they <laughs> should be eating anymore. <laughs> and they are grateful for that knowledge, really grateful. And so to a person, um, everyone that I've helped do this program has, who has really truly committed to the 30 days has had excellent results and is so glad that they did it. And I can't say enough good things about the program. And for yourself as a person and to grow your business, it's just the best thing. Oh, thank you. Thank you. this shiny brand new year, um, I think it's important for all of us to start reflecting on this question. Are you living your life on purpose? And in order to really unpack the answer to that question, it's really important to examine something. So I'm going to share a quote with you to start. And it comes from the number book five, where will you be five years from today? The best day of your life is the day on which you decide your life is your own. No one to lean on, rely on, or blame. The gift of life is yours. It is an amazing journey, and you alone are responsible for the quality of it. Life is about the choices you make. Choose wisely. Start by choosing the two most important, quote unquote, guiding stars, your values and your mission. Values are personal choices you make about what's important to you. Being guided by your highest values brings immense satisfaction and meaning to life. And I think we all know values are things like family, friendship, health, etc. So that said, it's easy for us to fall into the trap of the daily grind amidst our responsibilities, our personal stress that really does take over once the new year gets going. Uh, so it's important not to forget to take that step back and then ponder Am I living my life in accordance with what I value the most? And if you are, great. Keep doing what you're doing. But if the answer is no, or even not exactly, we have to ask ourselves, how am I going to change my life? What steps can I take to do that so that I am living my values every day? And I think we can agree it's really hard to be content and fulfilled when our values and our daily actions that make up our lives really are not alone. So the first step in answering that question would be to identify your top five values. So I'm just going to put some more questions to you to help you reflect and discern what you value most. Number one, what are the three things you like most and least about yourself? Number two, what God-given talents do you possess? And are you using them daily? Who is the happiest person you know? Number four, who are the two people you like and respect the most and why? And the last one, but so important, who are you? So once you identify your top values, then it becomes easier to write your life's mission and really ultimately determine the desires of your heart. And that's what allows us to live a life with intention on purpose. Then it's up to us to be willing to do the things we've never done to gain what we've never had in alignment with our core values. So I'm just going to leave you with one last quote, and it's from the same book, written by Rob Bresney. And it says, This may be the turning point your grandchildren will tell stories about years from now. The time you leap over the abyss to the other side of the Great Divide and begin your life in earnest. On the other hand, this moment of truth may end up being nothing more than a brief awakening when you glimpse what's possible on the other side of the Great Divide, but then tell yourself, nah, that's way too far to jump. In that case, your grandchildren will have to be content talking about what delicious cookies you used to bake 
or what your favorite sports team was. It will all depend on how great you'll be. Thank you. All right, we are going to do raffles. So go ahead, get your raffle tickets. Jeanette, I'm going to call you up to help us. <laughs> Do you have the bag? Okay. Okay. I was okay. usually dating. Sorry. <laughs> um, where are the? We need one more. Nicole. Yeah. Sorry. Don't don't ruffle Anna's yeah. products. Okay. Don't touch the pink. Yeah. All right. Find them. So how many? One, two, three, how many four, five. Five. Yeah. Okay. Five. 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 Nine Two zero two. Yay! Oh yay! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one nine three. One nine three. Oh, does he have one nine three? Yeah. Maybe the one right after me. Wow. One more. Yep. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Two zero nine. Oh, thank you. All right. So I'm just going to share a closing message with you all tonight. I know we've been talking a lot about the new year, but how can you not when we're quite right on the fifth day of January? I'm like, what day are we? Um, <laughs> Every day is like the weekend to me because I do our bond. But anyways, as we close out, I had to say that, as we close out 2015, and let me just introduce myself again, you guys. So I'm Connolly Stewart, Regional Vice President and Independent Consultant with Arbon, And I'll share a little bit about my background in my closing message. So as we close out 2015 and move into a new year, it's a time for reflection, right? So here's a challenge to yourself. Think about... This time last year, what were you telling yourself beginning of 2015? If you write goals, very good. Maybe you can go back and look at those, but what were your goals or what were your mental goals, your health goals, your financial goals, just personal goals that you wanted to achieve by the end of 2015, which we just wrapped up. Most of us probably fell short in some sort of way which is okay because that's the beauty of goal setting. We can always set a new goal. But what I love about Arbonne is it's like we get to start it. When you start your business, it's like starting, you know, brand new, fresh, not only a new year, but like a new you, a new life, whatever it is you want. And that doesn't even have to take that full 12 months to the next year to achieve those things or to see those big differences. I mean, gosh, just hearing Heidi up here sharing your experiences in six months, I mean, the amount that you've grown, that's a testimony. Because of Arbon, which is often, you know, it's a skincare health wellness company, but it's truly a personal growth business because you're going to grow so much. And that's one of the biggest gifts Arbon has given me personally. And so... You know, it's just so exciting to me. I love goal setting. I love looking at 90-day goals and 12-month goals. And what a blessing to have a business that sets me up for that and to have mentors and coaches within my business that set me up to achieve those things. I mean, you don't, for free, by the way, right? You don't find that many other places. You just, you really don't, not the kind of, um, warmth that you're probably feeling here tonight. So this isn't just for show. We really just love love what we do that much. So I will tell you, when I started my business five years ago, I was in I guess my third year of teaching maybe. So I was a kindergarten teacher. And 
big life goals, that wasn't on the forefront of, of my brain. I wasn't really taught that way when I grew up. You know, I was definitely, I watched my, my parents who were in the employee mindset, and that's pretty much where I was geared as well. So I knew go to school, become an employee, work for the weekend, you know, but I did know I want to make a difference because I did choose to go into the teaching career. So I knew that was, I, I absolutely knew that was a value that I want, that I had, and that I wanted to work whatever I did to experience that and to help others. But, you know, I just also found out about myself that I was kind of complacent. And when you are complacent, I can equate that to kind of being more flat. By personality, I'm not saying, you know, I, I obviously don't, I have more of a bubbly personality, that's just the way that I am, you know, I've always been that way. But I was very complacent to kind of just roll through the motions until Arbonne was introduced to me. Like this really was such a shift for me. And I shared that when I went to the first global training conference, I experienced that shift even bigger because I saw, look at these people who are really making such a huge impact on others' lives and just look at how happy they are. And, you know, I want a piece of that. And I also want to be able to do what I want with my life and my children that I didn't have at the time. So that was kind of another key factor that came in when I was really looking at Arbonne as a business and really kind of examining who I was, how did I tick, you know, what is I willing to work for? And when I realized I can have choices, I can have time freedom, it was like a no brainer, you know? It was like the New Year's resolution, even though it wasn't the New Year, it was May. Talk about a bad time to start your business, a bad time, May for a teacher. But I didn't care because I was just that excited. It was like I had made the resolution that I would experience change for our family. Um, I definitely did have some hesitations because most people do. Uh, for me, I think it was just, I was just kind of fearful. Um, that's not an uncommon hesitation to be in. But you know what? As Jeanette Stoneman would share, if it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. And so I quickly began to realize this business is challenging me. It's making me feel very uncomfortable at times. It's pushing me outside of that comfort zone that is so secure, but the comfort zone is not going to lead me to where I need to be or into my personal greatness. Um, and so that is why I just kind of moved forward. And I had seen other people are doing this and they're growing and stretching. And the same can happen for me, and the same can happen for so many others, you know. And so that's why I love the idea of the network that you build out. Because not only are you just sitting here in your bubble growing, improving yourself, but when you improve yourself, who else is, who else is being improved? All those around you, your circle, whether it be your spouse, your children, your friends, your team that you're building, everyone's being influenced by that positive shift in you. So, I'm kind of just not on, you, you guys know I always go off notes. So, we, so we um, just to kind of close, we set goals for the new year, and they generally do involve health and finances. I mean, that's probably what most people are, are setting their mind, their goals for. Hence why the January Clean Eating Program, I mean, that group is huge this month, because everyone's really just wanting that fresh start. And so how cool is it that in Arbonne, we get to focus on helping people with both. So we get to help people focus on their health. We just heard great things about that from Heidi. We get to help people focus on their finances. We get to help ourselves by focusing on our finances. And then the other thing that a lot of people focus on when setting their goals for the new year is just their personal growth. So I've seen a lot of people posting, you know, I want to be more present with my children. I want to be less connected to technology. Um, being a mom, I probably get a little bit more of that, that in my news um, feed, but it's true. When you're present, you really do feel, just like you were sharing, Julie Jane, you're living your life with intention, and there's something to be said about that, and there's something very attractive about that to others as well, because 
those people are actually really seeking that. Um, we don't necessarily do our Arbonne business to have all these things. Jesse, I love that you shared in one of the meetings that really one of your life goals is just live your life simplistic, simplistically. And that stuck with me because I'm like, yes, the incomes of Arbonne are amazing, but at the end of the day, like it is going to lead to a more simplistic, focused, intentional life. And, um, and that's, that's really one of my goals too. So I don't know, you know, you know, hold on, let me stop. People are presented with a life-changing opportunity maybe twice in a lifetime. And I'm not sure if this is the first time or the last time that you'll pre be presented with one, but just think about that. And so we're so glad that you came here tonight to hear this, what I truly believe and I know is a life-changing opportunity because my life <laughs> looks much different now than it would. And if I took back five years ago, where will you be if you continue what you're doing in the next five years? So I know where I would be. And I'm sure I would still have my children, but I'm sure I would be, I knew obviously, I would still have had children. Yeah. <laughs> bye bye, um, no, I was, obviously I still would have had children, but it would have been a more stressful life, you know? We would have been having to make some different sacrifices and you know, I still would have been working a full-time job. I feel pretty certain my income wouldn't have shifted too much. Um, I, I didn't see a, a really big ch opportunity for financial freedom and building wealth in what I was doing as a um, school teacher because that's just the reality of it. You know, it's I admire teachers so much because of what they do. I mean, their teachers are amazing and I'll love on my kids' teachers when they have them because I've been there. But you know what I knew we needed to do was build wealth. And it's so fun to get to sit and talk to my husband when we just went out for, for a birthday dinner and we were just kind of chatting about our you know 2016 and his goals too. And you know I was like, babe, you got to realize you will not continue to need to do what you're doing because when we go nation, you're not going to have to continue to work in corporate America if you don't want to. And his eyes got like, really wide, you know, because he knew that, but for me to re just tell him that again. So I'm like, so you just got to be on board because this is what we need to do to be able to have those choices. And so that is powerful. Do you think five years ago I would have thought I'd be sitting sharing that with my husband? No, that, that thought would have never crossed my mind. And um, I always say it's a lot more fun to dream. So go have fun, dream, and thank you for coming to my <laughs> That's it. So thanks. That's a wrap. Thank you. That is a wrap. Thank you. Awesome clothes. And thank you so much.